Hey everyone, welcome back to Pro Design Channel. Apologies for staying away for a while. This is due to the preparations for the upcoming visualization trainings on SketchUp, V-Ray, Chaos Corona Renderer, Enscape, and Chaos Vantage. You have asked for it, and the registration will be open soon. Today, we are diving into one of the most essential aspects of interior visualization realistic lighting. We'll be working on a simple bedroom scene in SketchUp using V-Ray to make the space feel like it's straight out of a magazine. I have attached this file for you to easily follow along. You can also check out the video linked above to get even more of these realistic scenes for your personal practices. Before we jump into the lighting techniques, let us quickly go over our scene setup. We have a fairly simple bedroom here grey marble tiles, modern fixtures and a large window that will play a key role in our lighting. It is crucial to make sure your model is well built with proper material assignments because good lighting works best when paired with accurate materials. Part of this is to make sure that all your materials are well relinked to the corresponding file parts on your PC. If your interior scenes or models were downloaded from websites like sumodel.pro, lumionvietnam.com, 3dwarehouse.com, and others. The reason why some of these assets or scenes don't appear as realistic on your PC as their preview images on the website is simply because of 1. Poor lighting. 2 failure to relink the bitmaps on your PC. 3. Unrealistic finishing touches on the materials. Let me show you how to relink your scene materials with their respective bitmaps on your downloaded file. Open the V-Ray Asset Editor. Use the Material Sampler to select any surface within the scene. If you open the Diffuse bitmap, you may see this orange colored warning sign, which means you need to relink the bitmap with the present part on your PC. Because we downloaded this scene from another person, the file part is no longer the same as where we have them on our own PC. So it triggers a warning for us to relink to the new part. That makes sense, right? To do this, just copy the file path like so on the bitmap file click click then paste to search now we are where the material assets are search for the material click on it and open and you have your material file relinked another way is to go to the material tray click on the home icon this brings you to all the materials you have on your scene. From here, you can start to relink. Click on Edit, then the file, and pick the respective file from the file path. Now, let's tweak the materials appropriately. Carefully follow the video along.
Next is to set our camera views. With the combination of camera tools like zoom, orbit, two-point perspective, you can create some nice camera views. Navigate to position your view within the safe frame. Once you find a view that you like, go to camera tool and select two-point perspective to create vertically aligned edges. Now this makes a more visual sense. The next step is to create our natural lighting, which will be our primary light source. First, we'll use a V-ray sunlight to simulate daylight coming through the window. To do this, go to V-ray Asset Editor, click on Lights, select Sun, come to the settings. You want to angle it in such a way that it casts some nice, soft, shadows through the windows into the bedroom. To make it more realistic, adjust the sun's intensity. Lowering the intensity makes the lighting feel soft and natural. You can also tweak the size multiplier to further soften the shadow edges. To assist the sunlight, we add two rectangle lights to our large window. Carefully place one at the back of the window and the other just a little inside. Make sure they are of the same size as the window and make them invisible. Now that we've set up our natural lighting, let's move on to artificial lighting. Bathrooms usually have ambient lights, sconces or even recessed light, which adds warmth and depth to our renders. Let's add a rectangular light for the ceiling fixture. Change the shape to this to fit the lighting shape. Make it invisible and set a warm color. Adjust and position it just before the light fixture to provide an overall wash of light. Now let's add some rectangle light to represent recessed or indirect lighting. This works well for vanity mirrors or to highlight specific areas. Don't forget to tweak the intensity and warmth of this light. Warmer light gives a cozier feel, perfect for a bedroom space.
now that everything is set up, let us look at our render settings. For realistic lighting, we need to fine tune a few things. In the settings, go to the engine, choose CUDA, set the quality as medium, set the denoiser as V-Ray and choose mild preset for your denoiser. Set the render output as 1200 by 1500. At the advanced camera settings, set the film sensitivity as 200, the shutter speed as 250. Once that's done, hit render. Play with a few test renders as they are important to check your lighting before committing to a final high resolution render. Let's see how it looks. Here is our final render. As you can see, the combination of natural and artificial lighting gives this bedroom a realistic warm feel. You can still do some post-production tweaks on Photoshop to enhance the brightness or contrast if needed. And that's a wrap for today's tutorial on achieving realistic interior lighting in SketchUp and V-Ray. I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future tutorial. Let me know in the comments what you like to see next. Happy rendering everyone.